in here. We got Donovan Dijak on his way to wonderful things in his career. Sir, first and foremost, I want to thank you, and I want to ask you, you've done a lot in four years. You know, you kind of hit the scene running. Is there anything, though, that you haven't got the chance to do yet, something that you really want to do with your career? I mean, there's a few things. Um, the first one that comes to mind is Japan. You know, I'd love to wrestle in Japan. That's a big goal for a lot of guys. It's hard, though. I mean, there's only so many companies that fly guys over there. Um, and most of them are kind of contract companies, so it's a little different. I've reached out to a few companies. Um, I don't know whether it's going to happen or not. Um, I hope someday I get to Japan. Obviously, that'd be great. There's a bunch of countries I'd like to go to, though. You know, Australia would be sweet. Africa would be nice. Russia I'd like to visit. But um, but in terms of, like, promotions or, or things I'd like to do, for, for the most part, outside of Japan, you know, the... I've covered a lot of time, more than I ever thought I would in, in four years anyway, by, by a lot, you know, so, so that's, you know, I'm obviously very thankful for that. That's fantastic. Now, now the one thing I, I really got to know is you went to UMass, Dartmouth. Amherst. Amherst, I'm sorry, Amherst. Okay. Then you transferred over to Bridgewater State. Correct. And you excelled in football, you excelled in basketball, you excelled in everything you did. What made you decide? <laughs> what made you decide to pursue professional wrestling as opposed to maybe trying to go pro in sports or utilizing your degree? Uh, I mean, I did utilize my degree for a little bit. I got a uh, a, a minor, not a minor. I have a, a degree in criminal justice and a master's in, in criminal justice as well. Um, <clears throat> so I, about a year after I graduated with my master's, I was I was in a, I had a full time job uh, as a criminal investigator. Uh, for the Committee for Public Counsel Services. So so I did that for a little bit. Um, while I was in that job, that's when I discovered the New England Pro Wrestling Academy. It just it just felt like a great fit. You know, the, the, the NFL was kind of, if I had stayed at UMass, I probably would have had a better shot as an offensive lineman at the NFL. Yeah. But once I transferred to a smaller school, it, it, it you know, I kind of became out of reach. Um, because I mostly transferred to the school to play to play the position that I liked in, in football and to play the sport that I preferred in basketball. Yeah. Um, as opposed to, you know, this position and sport that I was the best at. So, so I, um, so I kind of, uh, so from there, the, the NFL seemed kind of off and the NBA was never really an option. So, um, so yeah, I was, I was pursuing the, the, the full-time job. It, it was going pretty well, but once the, the pro wrestling became an option and once I realized it was kind of a feasible option, you know, that's when I, I, I decided to dive head first. And you trained under Fury, correct? That's correct, yeah. So, I mean, you're, the day you walk into his school and you meet Brian Fury mm -hmm. to the day you step in the ring, how long about? Um, I walked into the school. I'm not sure if I can get the time out of this right. I think I walked into the school on a, on a Saturday in, like, August of, uh, of 2012. Just to just to take a look, I emailed him. He said they were running class the next day. I came in the next day. It was a Saturday morning. I just met him, um, sat down, watched class. Uh, I knew that they had a fantasy camp coming up, so I thought that would be a great place to sort of test everything out and feel it out to make sure it was what I actually liked and wanted. Uh, that was about a month ish, three or four weeks after that. So once I did the did the um, you know, once I kind of visited the school and watched the class on the Saturday, I just spent that month. Uh, I picked up a second job, um, so I was saving up money for the for the camp and the tuition. Uh, I was working out every day. I was I was you know really busting my ass to make sure that I was prepared to do everything. So once the camp came came along, I knew it. I was sure, and I knew it was what I wanted to do. I, I signed up that day for a, a lifetime tuition, and I kind of didn't look back since. You know, ever. The, the first bump I took, the first time I hit the ropes, it all it all felt like, you know, that's kind of where I was meant to be. Absolutely. And, and finally, uh, thanks for your time, but do you have any advice for someone who's just getting in the industry? Obviously, you've got some natural talent. You've moved very, very quickly through the ranks in multiple New England promotions. Any advice for the young guys who are just starting out? Oh, yeah. Uh, the, the, the people ask me that a lot. And the first thing I always say is just find a great school. You know, there's... The, there's in, in today's day and age, especially, there's a lot of good options. Um, there's only a few great options. Uh, but it, it, if you can relocate, that's great. You know, find a, a Landstorm. Find a, a New England Pro Wrestling Academy. The, you know, there's, there's some great schools. 
but if if you're just in your uh, area, you know, you have a job, you have a family or whatever, you can find a good school. Just do some research. You know, look at the people they've produced. Look at, you know, who the trainer is. You know, so if you, if you just do a little research, ask around, ask some people. You can ask me. Uh, <laughs> ask anyone you want. But just finding a good school is, is so important. Um, you know, being athletic, working out, all that stuff is, is helpful. Getting on as many shows as you can, doing as many shows, all that stuff is important. But the first step is, is to find a good school. And if you can, relocate to, to, to go to a great school. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Dijak. Yeah. Donovan Dijak, ladies and gentlemen. You'll see him soon. One way or the other, I think. This guy's going places.